good to see all of you. How are all of you doing today, this fine Thursday evening? Hello. Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back again, Irene. Good to see you. It is wonderful, wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. And, oh my God! Queen Panda, thank you so much for the raid with oh, 3,570 people. Wow, you guys had quite a party today. That is a gigantic uh -oh, raid. Thank you so much. Hello, Crusaders. Good to see all of you. Oh, there was a raid to Jeannie's channel as well. That's what you guys were talking about in terms of pa um, passing the torch. Wow, well, very happy to have all of you guys here. Welcome, welcome to the Bubbly Corn stream. Today we are at our DIY desk and we are going to be doing some painting. <gasps> Boomer Bob! Thank you so much for the five tier one subs. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god! Wow, what a phenomenal way to start the stream. I did not know. Triple raid. <gasps> really? So Jeannie got raided. Wait. Oh, Jeannie got raided. And then, oh, Jeannie got, must have gotten raided twice if it's a triple raid. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> not well. Hello, I'm here, so no need to be nervous. Thank you. Hello, how's everyone doing? Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Prophet of Shadows, for the congratulations message. Thank you. Max, good to see you. Okay, well, today, thank you for coming by. We are in for some painting today. Oh, thank you so much for redeeming Sip Your Water into the darkness. Um, shoot, the only water I have at the moment is for the paint. Which is congratulations a huge on their of wedding, water. BDW. Oh, thank you, Prophet of Shadows. Yes, paintbrush time. Uh, yes, which we're gonna be using that huge bucket of water. But I will sip the coffee, which has a lot of water inside of it. So thank you. Hi, Supreme King. Hi, Kevin. Good to see you. Don't drink that. I okay. You know what? I got called out. So uh, I need to get water. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if there's water upstairs. Just a second. Ha ha! I got water. I got water. I stole Dennis's bedside water, which is very evil. I I will replace it. He's probably like <gasps> in blasphemy downstairs. Bless you. Um. That feels much better. Real water feels much, much better. Yes, thank you. Oh, Silvervale Raider Project Mel. Oh my God, Project Melody Hello, Mrs. and Hon, Silvervale. How are you this evening? Oh, Silvervale, Silvervale Raided Project Melody and Melody Raided Iron Mouse and Iron Mouse Raided Potassipi. Wow! For those of you who are continuing the raid all the way from Silvervale, took my bedside you guys are on a water. marathon. Who took my bedside? Yes, that's what's going on. Wow, what a party! Nus, Nus Fairy Too Light, thank you so much for the five months. Thank you. Wow, that's crazy. What a fun journey for all of you who have been like stream raiding. You you guys must have a lot of energy too, like, because raiding takes a lot of energy. You gotta bust out those emotes and just raid. How you like you know? black pink? I love raiding. How you like that? Black pink, yes, I like it very much. How you like that? Do, 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 do. How you like that? Da, 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 da. Well, oh shoot, sorry, I did not mean for that to happen. Um, so let us start by. Um, hi, hello, hello, Reed Bandit. We have a blank canvas in front of us. And what we're going to go for is a very aesthetic painting today. Um, I've been searching a lot on Pinterest. Uh-oh. A lot on Pinterest. And I realized, like, my walls are empty. Can we make this brighter? 
I guess we can't, but in any case, yes, I would love to decorate our walls a little more. So I got a bunch of canvas. Can what's what's the plural of canvas? Canvi? Can V? Can boo. Can canvases. I got a bunch of canvases. I have like 20 canvases hidden behind there, behind the stairwell. And we are going to, oh my gosh, we got a hype train going. Rice man, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Both sisters paint. Did Jeannie paint today as well? Wow, if she did, uh, there is telepathy. I, I don't even get surprised anymore. Yes, it will be quite some telepathy. Yes, can't believe it's gonna be half a year of streaming. Agreed. Love that dress you are wearing right now. Oh, Uncle Sean, thank you. I actually got a new top today. I've decided to go more floral because it is reaching summer. And it's it has like roses on it. And I thought, why not a summery look? Because it's hot now in LA. It's it's almost like our apartment's constantly in the 80s, and so it's it's just been quite hot. Oh my goodness! Oh, the, who is that? Oh my goodness, Chili 2011! Thank you so much for the 10 tier 1 subs! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! My bubble maker is like, the volume needs to go Okay. Oh, and coffee, caffeine and jazz. Oh, you and I, we are the same jazz folks. <laughs> but anyhow, that was from this morning, I promise. That is my first coffee of the day. Uh, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Gifting a sub. Okay, so now your house 80, me laughing in 100 plus. Are you in like Arizona or something? Mrs. Irene, where is Prince John? Oh, Prince John, Prince John is over there. I had to, so every time I, this is also my work setup. So sometimes I have to transport our bubble wrap crew family over there, our plushies over there. And today I am doing that for sure because I don't want Prince John to get any paint on him. So I'm trying to make this as safe as possible for all of our plushy family. Okay, with that, I'm never gonna get started on this painting with all this excitement. And so, let me tear open this um, canvas. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yikes, that was probably not the best way to tear it open. I would be more careful. I don't I don't think I ripped the canvas, but I will beat your 80 degrees and raise you 109. Oh, 109. Oh man, that is quite intense. I don't know how you're surviving over there. I don't know how you're typing. I don't know how your fingers are managing to type. Okay, so oh, thank you, Minnie Man. That's so kind of you. Okay, 95. Oh man, yeah, it is getting very hot. So perfect time for summer wear. Oh, Altair, thank you so much for the cheer. Cheer, cat. Okay, um, so in terms of what are we painting today, I wanted to try painting something that we can hang. Hello, Dennis and Irene, congrats. Oh, thank you so much, Russell. Yes, so I wanted to paint something that we can hang and that I have been maybe wanting to like purchase. But that's the whole point of DIY. DIY is that you can I will beat your 80 degrees make and raise you 109 whatever degrees here in you Arizona. wanted to, that you were eyeing, you know? You're creating it in your own, in the comfort of your own home. So I have a couple of paintings that I was surfing Pinterest on yesterday and I was hoping that you guys could help me choose what you like the best. Um, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. If this is not going to be a Bob Ross painting. This is going to be more of a abstract modern painting, which half of it I'm doing it because I like that style. 
But the other half I'm doing it because it's easy to follow and you'll see what I mean. It's very um, kind of like dummy proof, I would say. Uh, modern painting, huh? Yes. So let me show you guys a bit of what I had looked into. So this is one of them. Um, so this is kind of what I mean by modern. It's like, um, oh, new. Go the Jackson Pollock attract route. Tra attract route. Oh, I think, I feel like J J um, Jackson Pollock would be a little too difficult. It requires perfection. That's tomato soup, right? I, yeah. I could probably still miss. Okay, this one, this one I think is a little bit harder. So I was, I'm hoping that you guys don't pick this one. Um, but okay. Abstract is what I mean. Oh, abstract. Yes. This one, see, it's like you look at it and it is something very simple, but something about how the line flows and the color combination is just so Molotov, thank you so much for the cheer. Thank you. Um, it's just very soothing. Like the color combination of white and like eucalyptus green and beige. Put a wool glue on your painting <laughs> and bubble it one as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's going to be very... Hmm. This needs to be zen though. Wulu is too cute. Wulu is too distracting to have this be a abstract painting. Wulu's going to be its way out of the painting. Um, so this is another one. And then we also have, looks like a toilet in a bathtub? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, but now that you say that, I can't unsee it. Wait, where is the bathtub? Okay, I see the bathtub. The bottom part must be the bathtub and the white part must be the toilet. Are you saying the inside of a toilet, like the green is the water? I see a lamp. Wow, you know what? We're having a nice art tour right now. This is exactly what you do when you go to a go to a museum. You talk about art pieces and you're like, so how do you think about it? What do you think about what do you think about this piece? What inspiration does it give you? Yeah, I have not discussed a bathtub uh, and a toilet yet. <laughs> A museum. Bathtub is on the right, toilet on the left. Oh, I see. I can kind of see that. Okay, well, if this one's not vibing with you guys, there's more to come. I'm looking a lot of these with the leaves I really liked. Um, this also, like, I think the paint blob, the color of the paint blob, and the shape of the paint blob, how it's very round and flowing, um, creates a very like zen, green, fresh feel that I thought would be a good addition to the walls wherever we put it. Um, what do you guys think of this one? Nice paint. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Oh, more people are liking it. I'm not getting bathtub. I'm not getting toilet. This one, I think more people like it. I personally like Warhol and Jason and Jackson Pollock. I think I'm betraying the Pollock part. Pollock. Pollock or Pollock? Uh, I think I definitely know both, but I might be mixing up the two because I did, they, both of their artwork is was displayed at the Broad Museum and have really liked both of them. Walmart print? Are you not afraid of getting paint on your shirt? Coffee Ninja, that's a great question. I probably will put on an apron, but I really like the apron, so I don't want to get apron on my shirt. I mean, paint on my apron either, but I might need to grab one. The first one I like more. Oh, okay. Nice. Good opportunity well, to use more. an apron. That's true. I, I will I will grab the apron. Time for, okay, you know what? Grabbing the apron. but can also be used for painting. And it's also floral, so it still works. Okay, I still see a bird. You guys see a bird? But, but, 
It's the purpose of an apron, Irene. Put this apron, so cute. <laughs> it's my favorite apron. I'm gonna need an apron for your apron. <laughs> yes, All Star, I need an apron for my apron. I need a protective apron over my apron. And then if that one's too cute, I need an apron for the apron's apron as well. <laughs> Sleeves. Oh, yes. These sleeves can be um, pushed up, so that works. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one. The next one, the next couple are, are pretty similar to these, except they have a little bit more of a different color. So I was thinking if we do multiple, they can start matching each other. But this one is also nice. This one has different paint splatters, and it's um, like a... What would you call that color? What do you call that color? canary no not canary tan something I was trying to come up with word other than dark yellow because that makes me sound unsophisticated in the world of art but <laughs> yes a yellow a shade of yellow and blush which also seems very nice so there's this one camis oh mustard yes cap cam I want to say it turbo because that sounds like the right word somehow fall summer that's a great Point. This one is summery. This one's fall. That would be perfect. Don't you have a dirty shirt you could put on so your nice shirt doesn't get ruined? That's true. I could do that. But then that would take away from the aesthetic of this art experience. So I gotta keep this one on. I'll just be extra careful with the paint. Um, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Ooh, cantaloupe. I think cantaloupe would be Chamomile, chamomile tea is also that color. Aren't fall more orange? Oh, so maybe this one's fall and this one's summer. Again. <laughs> maybe, because I have definitely used Dennis's spare shirt when I was dyeing their hair that time to blue. So that could be an option. Okay, this one's a nice one where it also has the different colors, but this, I feel like, is all the seasons encompassed in this one it's very beautiful um you see cheese you see cheese you see cheese oh my gosh i think i oh, i love this artistic discussion well that's another one and then this one i i think this is one of my favorites too i was actually thinking of doing this one with this leaf because i like this leaf better or this leaf where it's not filled in. Um, and yeah, it's like these these look nice with two paintings matched up, you know? And then the last one is this one. This could be for a fall-like one, but this is kind of nice where it's like a orangish leaf. As you guys mentioned, orange is a shade of autumn, so perhaps. But yes, less heavy lines as lines. Less heavy as lines. Yes, exactly. Ooh, wow, that looks like Japanese paintings. Ooh, do they? I'm kind of hungry eating snacks right now. <gasps> I'm kind of hungry too. I'm kind of very hungry. Maybe I should bring up the snack -o box. Okay, but how many picks are there? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so I know there's only five choices if we want to take a vote, but I'm going to roll this one out because this one's a little too tough. So I'm going to start... Mm, maybe we'll rule this one out because they said toilet as well or they you guys some of you guys said it's a toilet and a bathtub and I keep seeing that so maybe we'll stick to the flowers for now um and then we can go from there because these are five choices so number one is green um if any of the moderator here moderators Oh, six choices. Hmm, poll only has five slots. Okay, perfect, Silver. Um, well, if we do five, I think we're just going to do these artsy ones. So we'll do the green leaves is number one. Leaf uh, yellow and pink is number two. Number three is this blob thing. I think you could just put in numbers. <laughs> Whoever is putting it down, num one through five, and I'll keep scrolling through them. Number four is this double painting one where there's a lot of different pastel colors. And number five is this orange autumn leaf one. 
So thank you, Zilver, for listing them down. And so if you want to go vote, I'm going to say them one more time. Number one is the green blob leaf. Number two is the yellow pink blob leaf. Number three is the colorful round dots. Number four is the pastel dots. And number five is the autumn leaf. Ooh, what are you guys choosing? Oh, wow. Seeing a lot of number three. I'm seeing number two as well. Number one. Wow, I love five, really? I love five. Five is really nice too. Three or five. Okay, so three is quite popular. Three is quite, quite popular. And I've got all of the colors for any of these paintings that you guys choose over here. Wah! So we're all set to paint any of these that you guys choose. So please use the poll that Silver has put together to vote. Oh, really? Points let you add more votes. I didn't know that. Interesting. Rigged. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm very curious as to what this comes out to be. Wow, interesting. I thought we're, we're, um, the top, Oh my gosh, it's exactly like, um, so five, four and five are doing the hottest right now. Seems like it's going to be one of these two, either the pastel, the double painting pastel. Zilver, you're so good at labeling the choices, as always, the pole master over here. Or the Orange Autumn, that's the two that we're debating between. And we're almost at the vote finalization. Wow, and it is very close. <gasps> it like keeps changing like between the two. <gasps> wow, what's it going to be? Well, at least we know if we get two paintings, which ones we'll, we'll probably only get one. Okay, and the winner is the Orange Autumn Leaf. Congratulations, Orange Autumn Leaf, at 274 votes. And we're very close. This one, the Double Painting Pastel, had 263 votes, which was very, very close as well. So if I do, well, not if, I will likely do another painting stream because I have so much canvas, so much canvases. And so in the future, I will do the Double Painting Pastel as the second one. And in third place, we got the Green Sapling Leaves. That sounds so fun, say the green sapling leaves. So we'll probably go for that. Okay, so the green, the orange autumn leaves. Perfect. Let me import that as the inspo picture. Okay, add source. Okay, orange autumn leaf. Let's add it. Yes, I'm so excited for this picture. Okay, maybe I should crop it a bit so that I can actually see it a little clearer. Whoops, too much. As we paint. Right, 150. 30, top, 150, nope, 130, nope, it's a guessing game, 120, bottom, 300, nope, 350. Okay, there we go. This is the painting we're going for right over here. So that's what we're going to do. And let's get started. Okay, well, this paint palette is going to be fairly simple. We're going to need some, what do you call that orange? That orange, I, I would say it's kind of like a rust color or a burnt orange color and something of the sort. And so to make that color, I'm gonna open up this moon yellow. 
mix it with this berry wine Ta -da. and hopefully we get to the right color dried up orange peel <laughs> coffee ninja i like your color palette description okay um i'll let you guys know when it gets to that okay Let's do this. I'm already getting paint on my hands. So glad I grabbed an apron. Thank you guys. Okay, getting some orange paint created. I'm gonna create plenty so that I don't run out. Okay, and then we need to make some beige as well red ochre with white wow are you guys artists in here wow i'm seeing fancy descriptions of colors i love this almost a burnt umber you guys are very good i'm partially colorblind slightly so if i mess up this color i am very sorry okay so to this i'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and then also to make beige i'm going to use a little bit of that color and a little bit of the white because we just need a uh, yellow um, mixed with warm white I'm doing a horrible job at focusing things today there we go warm white and angling things on the camera warm white <laughs> we lot a lot we lot a waddle <laughs> We watch a lot of Bob Ross, so we the colors are ingrained. Perfect. Yes. Jeannie taught you well. Jeannie Ross has taught you well. Titanium white. Well, this one's actually not super vibrant white. It is pretty um, muted. So it's... A little bit more off-white indigo blue thalo blue prussian blue hell red <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious hell red i love that okay so there's for the beige there's a little bit more for that i wish this would become brighter uh oh hmm I guess it doesn't want to get brighter. Okay, so let's start off with the orange color. And so I'm gonna mix this and hope that it turns into the orange that we're looking for. Okay, no, I need a lot more yellow, a lot more yellow. This is currently just pink at the moment. A lot more yellow, here we go. What? Okay, let's go yellow. Beat the brushes? Why, what did the brushes ever do? Is that part of the process? Is that how Bob Ross paints? Oh man, now I'm scared that I'm gonna get it on my sleeve. I totally understand now why you guys were concerned for my sleeve. Is this kind of a similar color? I think it's pretty good, don't you think? Like, based on the camera? I think it's turning out pretty good. Except I'm spreading this paint so much that I'm gonna have no paint left. Add a smidge of blue, less white. <laughs> oh, it's a Bob Ross reference. Oh, got it, got it, got it. He says that, that's hilarious. Okay, I think I just need a little bit more of yellow. Irene those Dennis like horror movies. <gasps> Dragon Lair, hi, good to see you. Um, no, <laughs> we're a very anti-horror movie household. <laughs> Both of us are horrible at watching horror movies. Hence, Halloween is not our favorite um, time of the year. Okay, when you mix this, you got to be careful because there are air bubbles forming. Okay, now is the moment of truth. We're going to draw out... Oh, wait, we need beige. We need our beige, so let me mix that one up as well. And for the beige, 
I think we can mix in a smidge bit of this orange. Perfect. And it will unify the painting a bit better because both of them are based off of the same color. When he was alive during his painting episodes, he would beat the excess liquid off the brushes and he would say he was beating the devil out of it. Oh, got it. Oh my gosh, I need to look that up because I can't imagine um, Bob Ross saying that, using that word, using that expression. I feel like he's too calm to say that. Okay, this beige is actually pretty good. Here, Do you and Dennis this. have a favorite Disney movie? Yes. You and Dennis have a favorite Disney movie? Dennis don't love Disney too much, but wait, <gasps> The Greatest Showman, is that Disney? Alice might have brown that to is the first our pain. favorite. Add a smidge of brown to the first paint. Smidge of brown, it's pretty dark though. It's pretty dark. Look, the, 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 um, this camera actually shows it a lot better, I think. So it looks actually, when you look at these two paint colors, it looks very similar to the painting, I would say. Okay, great. Oh, Bob Ross was a former U.S. military sergeant. Did not know that. Fun fact learned. Okay, so first what we have to do is we have to draw a line to guide our orange leaves. And it doesn't have to be exactly like the above painting because that's just an inspiration. Okay, why am I starting to be more like mellow? I think when you paint, okay, so I think when people, uh, what do you call it, cook, they randomly start breaking out in British accent because um, you start to replicate Gordon Ramsay, and then when you start to paint, you start getting yep, calm. Yep, after he left the military, he swore he would never scream again. Thus, Bob Ross the painter was born. Aha, Prophet of Shadows. That's, that's amazing. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Now we know. Or now I know. Maybe you guys already knew. Okay, and here we go with the orange one. So similarly, we're going to grab the orange, and we're going to draw up a line from the other side. Okay, this one is a little perfect. That's a great start. And I realized that the image is inverted. I apologize. There we go. This looks more aligned. This keeps slipping. Please don't slip. Ah! Have something heavy over there to prevent it from slipping. Okay, perfect. This is a good start. This is a great start. Um, and so now, let us draw the orange leaves. So I'm going to just position them. Or draw them. Either works. I guess I'm drawing them. But I do want to like position them so that I don't get them too close to each other. You just draw small leaves. Okay, and then you can add a little bit of wave to the leaves as well to give it life. Okay going good and then we can add another one here and we're going to add one to the edge perfect okay so now that we've got the leaves positioned we can spend more um more time more detailed time oh, what's the thing more detailed time on making the leaves look exactly the way we want it K 
Okay, so it's a little fatter at the base and it's a little flatter on one edge. I think I need a bigger brush for this. Oh my gosh, this is very therapeutic. Wow. I see why Bob Ross is such a calm person now. There's one leaf done! Yes! This leaf is a little chubby though. I kind of want it to be a little longer. In which case, no problem. You just draw it out to be a little longer. But still getting a little chubby. Don't know why. That's okay. Sometimes making several episodes in one day. Bob Ross? Ooh. happy tree paint it over with a background picture oh now I feel like I need to do a Bob Ross painting yes the greatest showman is on Disney plus what is your two's favorite part of the movie Ooh, yes you're right the greatest showman is on Disney plus uh -huh. A favorite part of the movie is probably the um, the intro or the exit, the Greatest Showman song. He made several copies of each epic. painting you saw on a TV episode and not a single one has ever been sold. Really? Because wh who owns it? Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. That makes it even more, um, what do you call it? Priceless. Okay, these leaves are really hard to make it turn out the way they have it in the picture. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's kind of hard to shape them that way. Okay, so thin, then thick, and then thin at the edge. We can do this. Okay. Third leaf down. We can always go back to the leaves too. Oh my gosh, now like, maybe I shouldn't have put the other painting here because having that painting right next to my painting makes this look like an elementary schooler is doing my painting. No. Your skills with that brush matches your skills in the kitchen. Oh goodness, that's that's not good. My skills in the kitchen ain't very sharp. Maybe I need a bigger brush. This is kind of coming out very awkward. This is like, they're not happy little leaves. They're like awkward little leaves. They're like very derpy little leaves. Wow, I didn't know abstract painting is is quite difficult. Do I not have enough leaves? Is that the issue? Let's see, how many leaves do they have? One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's the issue. My leaves are too spaced out. I should have drawn more leaves. That's okay. We can draw one more leaf here. We're going to be a little more free with the other side. Maybe that'll make it turn out better. Drawing leaves and making them happy takes practice. Okay, okay. This one turned out slightly better. Nice. That one, this one, this leaf, this leaf I would say turned out the best. 
I like the bar scene of Zac Efron and the beautiful actors couple love song. Yes, I do love the bar scene, Uncle Sean. I think that's one of my favoriteest, um, my most favorite songs out of the the entire movie. Usin, thank you so much for redeeming Sip Your Water. Cheers. Um, and maybe that will help me regain my composure for this leaf exercise. However it comes out, you're making it unique. Aw, thank you, Palmerin. That's very true. We don't want to copy exactly other people's artwork. We want to make it unique. Okay. I think it's... I'm getting the hang of this a little bit better now. It's looking a bit more natural. Ah, okay. I like it. I like it. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. I've heard of that one. Exactly. We're creating happy little accidents over here. A lot of happy little accidents. Yeah. Accidents left and right. Okay, this is turning out good. I'm definitely starting to like this painting a little better. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. Man, now I'm starting to like get excited for where should we place this? Okay. Nice. And the part that is important in making your painting look nice hung up is I think painting the sides as well unless you're gonna frame it which for these abstract paintings I would like to leave it free in a, in without bounds of a of a frame so pinky up <laughs> did I have my pinky up Oh my god, that's so funny. I have a weird habit of putting my pinky up when drinking tea, when drinking water, when doing anything. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have your pinky up when painting, but... Derpy little accidents. Exactly. Your rating on Titanic, 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. Is that a trick question? Am I, like, gonna get, like, in trouble if I... If I don't love it or the other way around I don't know what the popular thought is but in my opinion Titanic I actually really liked it I think I watched it like at least 10 times because it's a classic but it is an older film so like the effects are a little bit more corny but I still think the story and everything is very beautiful. Or not beautiful, it's quite tragic, but then the way it is storylined is very well done. Okay, happy little leaves. Do the leaves look happy? What do you think, guys? I think if I maybe touch up the other side a little bit, it could get better. But then they could get a little bit too chubby, which I'm a little concerned about. Hey, Irene Payne is like one of your French bubble corn. Sorry. French bubble corn? Did I have a French bubble corn? Oh, merci. Monsieur, we are going to paint a uh, happy little leaves over here. Ah, perfection. Uh, Leaves are looking much better now. Adding that extra detail to the tip to make it pointy so that it can drink up all the sun and the water. Uh -huh. Is it slightly better? I don't know. She'll eventually get it. Oh no! <laughs> Did I miss that? Did that whoosh? Oh no. 
French bubbly corn? I don't get it. What what happened? What what happened? Okay. Um and everyone, I have a bit of sad news. Titanic. You know how the Titanic ship sink ship sinks? Um there is a possibility that this stream may sink. <sighs> because if I have a confession to make, the charger for my laptop works. Which remember my screen turned blue and everything? It works, but then the issue is that the dongle that connects to my laptop that connects everything <laughs> but it's not charging yeah it's not it doesn't charge when the dongle heats up a lot because i think that specific port what happened is it got fried and when the temperature rises it stops and it was working earlier It was working earlier, but right now we're down to 12% battery. So there is, yes, a fire danger that is quite dangerous and it's um, potentially the stream might die in about 10%. <laughs> no, my gosh, how could this happen? I'm. Paint fast, paint fast. Yes, we can paint fast, but like, oh my gosh, I'm ruining the raid baton toss thing over here. Paint faster, okay? I'll paint faster. I'll definitely paint faster, paint the other leaves, but I'm just giving you guys a warning. Uh, I really apologize. The dongle was supposed to arrive today, um, which I think it's gonna arrive before 10 p.m., so. Okay, speed paint. Let's see. So now we work on the beige leaves, which are a little harder to see. It's a little too harder to see. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to the edge. Oh, okay, bring this to the edge. And oh, this is going much better now that we've practiced with the other one. I think the point is that you need to be more natural about it and also not pre-locate your leaves. Okay, I'm really empathizing with those on the Titanic because I can see the iceberg because now my battery says red and so we're getting very close to iceberg. It's at 9% now. Oh my god, oh no, 99 Suburban. Um, in which case, what I'm going to try to do... Actually, I don't, I don't really know. I don't have too many options if my computer dies. So I apologize. I'm going to have to finish this on Saturday's stream. But in any case... Um, Oh no! Oh! I'm very scared. This is giving me anxiety. And the leaves are getting me. Jack, paint me like one of your French girls, Irene. Paint is like a French bubble corn. Oh my gosh! Uncle Sean, I finally got it! I finally got it. That's what you guys meant. Oh wow, that one uh, took me forever. Yes. <laughs> That's so hilarious. That's what you meant. It was a Titanic reference. And I completely was using a French bubbly cord. But yes, we're gonna we're gonna paint you like a French girl. <laughs> that took a while. Yeah, that took quite a while. That that took probably record time for me. Uh, taking time to to understand a reference, but I'm gradually getting there. 
Thank you, Uncle Sean, for hand-holding me to the top of the tree to grab the boomerang. Okay. Shoot. This is looking very strange. I think I got too confident. Too confident. Oh, you know, these two are too close to each other. That's an issue, but that could actually be a good thing. They can, they can hold hands. They can hold hands. Oh, Frank and Lo, thank you so much for gifting a, a sub to Kofine. Okay, there we go. They can just hold hands. This will work. This is not good because I think this painting was not supposed to have the leaves touched. It's supposed to be like that painting where, what's it called? Where like the god and Adam are like reaching for fingers for each other and it's supposed to not touch. But it's Play sad right violin now. music from the Titanic as stream slowly sinks. Gentlemen, it's been an honor watching the stream. Oh my god! Prophet of Shadows! Yeah, yes, that's exactly what's going on right now. We're at 6% battery, so, um... This is... A, uh, let me try replugging this in and see if it does anything. Okay, before I replug it, before I replug it... Da -na 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 -na. I'm just gonna anti-jinx this by saying thank you so much for being here, everyone. Um, hope you have a great day or good night. No, I don't wanna say that I hope this works. But yes, I'm so sorry if this dies because we're at 6%. I'm gonna try unplugging it, replugging it to see if it works, but the action of me doing that might make things go a little strange. Irene, you will never let me I can't. I just can't. Oh my gosh, I feel really sad right now. I feel like we are right there on the crate at the edge where I'm having... It's like Jack is like, no, Jack, don't let go. And my voice is all like strained because it's like we're in the icy cold. Yeah, I did, Idaho Turtle. I have tried unplugging and plugging it back in. I'm going to try that right now too um, just to see if that does it. And wait, before I do it, pray to the Mac gods. Apple, please, please let this work. Okay. Okay, well, I think we're still in business here, but... I'm trying to make this cooler. No, it's not doing the trick. Okay, it is not doing the trick, but one thing I might try to do is I have the Streamlabs app on my phone. I could try to stream with that, except... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we have 5% battery left, so um, this, 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 is, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a short stream, an hour stream, like a record short stream, I'm so sorry. Especially after that huge baton toss. I feel like the baton has been... The baton, the whole baton is now crashing into the, the Titanic. Okay, let's see. How do we do this, Leaf? Okay, I'm painting faster so that we may be able to finish this leaf. What was that? Did I miss something? Trash Panda, hello! Love your content, bubbly hype, bubbly hype. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God, we're at 3%. We're at 3%. Oh my God, better, better gonna sing together with the boat. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so sorry. You guys are all captains of the boat. We're at 3%. We're gonna sink very soon. Oh, no, 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 ah! I'm at the, okay, okay, you know what? We're gonna be calm till the end. We're gonna be calm till the end, and now Streamlabs won't even respond to me. Darn, you tired your eyes. They're sinking us. 
Oh my gosh, okay, and now the time has come. No! We'll live in your memory. I wanna die. No power banks work with your Mac. <laughs> no! This is so sad. This is too sad. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, we're gonna paint till the end. Um Oh, this leaf. This is a sad little leaf. This is not a happy little leaf. This is a sad leaf. This leaf can't be happy right now because um, we're letting go. Oh my gosh. Bye. Salute. Don't forget it. I will not. I won't forget you, Jack. We go down together. Oh no. We died. All 1,300 of you. Thank you so much you know, for staying here. Oh, thank you. I said you know power banks work with your back. Yes, this one works. It's just this dongle. Uh, it will definitely fi be fixed by our Saturday stream. Thank you, Vinny Vidi. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. We know it's not your fault. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Captain, stick with the boat. Oh, this is so sad. I can't. I just, I'm just going to... You guys will see me paint the leaf as the last seed as we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, can we do one more leaf before we finish? Speed paint this leaf. Okay. <gasps> We're on our last leaf! Perhaps we can finish this one! That would be amazing. <gasps> we finished it! We finished the leaf, we just need the outline. Well, it was nice knowing you folks. Oh no, Justin's starting to stutter. Justin's starting to stutter. It's a sign. It's a sign. Shoot, it's really a sign. I, I know this bucket is maybe the, the thing. The water is cold. Oh no, the water is cold. Justin's dying. Yeah, Justin's dying. He's starting to stutter. Oh my god, don't send messages, guys, anymore. Justin doesn't want to die. <gasps> Can you guys hear the stir? Is it just me? It's like, Justin doesn't want to die. Oh my god, this is very, like, nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. We have hit the iceberg, and now we're just waiting to sink. But we finished the leaf, at least. We've finished the leaf. That's, that's good news. Uh, I Tell just need Justine to add the outline. <laughs> Tell Justin I love her. <laughs> Thank you. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm not dead yet. I'm not going down without a fight.
see if this works. Am I alive? Am I alive? 100% dead now. Um, are we live? Oh, we live. We are yeah. live. Let's see. Let's see if this is working. I can't tell completely if I'm live. <gasps> you guys see? <laughs> okay, well, this is now this is now just gonna be a test stream. Um this is on my phone, so I don't Wow. How do I mute this? There we go. Okay, so I think Oh my god, we're alive and we're big. Yeah, you guys chat is quite big i don't uh i know there was a way to kind of make it smaller make you guys chat smaller except i think i might have to do this via via the let's see let's see let's see I'm fiddle screen capture simple mode streaming. Nope. Screen capture alerts. Uh I learned how to do this before. Hmm. It ain't working. So then you guys are going to be very, very gigantic. It still works? <laughs> really? Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can hear me. This is very strange. I've never done this on my phone. Phone dies. Oh my god, that would be bad. How much battery do I have on my phone? Oh, my phone battery is 30%. But the good thing is, like, my phone, I can charge. My phone, I can charge. <laughs> okay, well, this is seems to be somewhat working so let me just try to continue with this uh, for those of you who are here and then um, now I can have this picture big over here let me just make sure it's going okay it's still going I think it's still going yeah Wow, interesting, so the phone works. Okay, well, here we go. So now we just need to create the happy outlines for, for this top pot. We, we are going to create outlines for the leaves up here. And that's part of what makes it look that modern artistic look, you know? I'm gonna have to look at, um, chat over here. The boat found us! Yes! A few didn't make it to the boats. <gasps> no, that's so sad. Wait, you're buffering. No, don't buffer. Don't buffer. Don't buffer. Okay. This is very nerve-wracking. Here we go. So, we're trying this out. So, essentially, you just draw a leaf, but kind of off from the other leaf. Perfect. Oh no, lag. Don't you buffer. <laughs> if we don't buffer, we die. <laughs> Frames go for her. Oh no. Thousand died. We will never forget them. Oh no. <laughs> we will certainly not forget. Oh, this is definitely taking on more of a modern twist now. I think I need a thinner brush for this part. Nobody rock the boat, Monkas! Yes, no one rock the boat. It is a, it's a very shaky boat right now. Um, but part of me, I'm really glad I got to try this because I wanted to see how great this quality was because some of the streams I wanted to do was outdoors which would be via this platform and so now i kind of know how it's going to show but the bad thing is the wi-fi 
the Wi-Fi is going to be a bit of an issue and the lag. So, still hanging on with the live vest. Oh no. I hope your live vests are keeping you warm. Okay. This is much better with a thinner leaf, thinner, thinner brush. Just need to be very generous with the paint. This boat's packed. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on one of those like little survival boats, but um, with like 700 people on your little boat. So you're gonna have to make space because we're gonna try to save as many people as we can in this icy cold water. Wonder if you guys can see this. I hope you can. Okay, there we go. Yes, thank you, Silver. Adding in details will make it look even better. Agreed. I think these extra lines are what brings this the modernness of this painting to life. There, Do, does it look modern to you guys? I think it's starting to look a bit more modern now. Ooh, you're back for it. That was it for the stream. Yes, kind of. Am I back? I'm like kind of half back. We're, as you can tell, we're on a lifeboat right now. We're not on the full on boat. This, this boat right here is charging. He is a charging away. And let's see what percent he's in. He's at 14%, so maybe he'll reach 50% before the end of the stream. Who knows? But but yes, we're on a lifeboat right now. Hopefully you guys are still staying warm. Keep on your life vests, keep on your life vests. And, and thank you so much really for staying on the boat till the end because my heart was fluttering with anxiety. It was very scary seeing you guys all, all, all sink through that, but um, so glad it works. 811 now. <gasps> Make room in your life. Uh, what do you call it? The, the escape boat. Make room, make room. Okay, this modernness is popping. Wow, okay. I You guys picked a good painting. I love it. Like, with the extra lines, it looks a lot more modern now. Yes, it is doing good. Battery is up to 16%. So it's like the Titanic ship, the Titanic sank, and then the uh, somehow it's starting to rise slowly. Like 16% of the boat is back up. Uncle Sean, how do we know that talking about Titanic, this whole stream would end up being like the sinking ship of Titanic? Except this one has a happy ending. There were a lot of lifeboats that saved a lot of people, so. Any thoughts on PC? A PC is better than boat that sinked. Mm, great point, Mex. That is a very zombie ship. Women and children are first all dressed like a three. <laughs> Dragon Lair! Oh my goodness. Yes, grab your pacifier and get on the U-boat. It's kind of like what Rose's fiance did. He grabbed the baby. He's like, I'm father. I go on the ship. I think he stole a random person's baby to do that. Yes, but all of you guys are very noble. You guys stayed on the ship till the very end. I am, I think that's just like, it just burned my heart. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe everyone's not just like running for the boats. Everyone's staying on the ship. Everyone's being the captain and staying with the boat till the end and singing the violin. I'm sure some of you were playing the violin. <laughs> I 
literally don't know a single streamer using a Mac except Irene. <laughs> I was going to create a tutorial on how to, how to stream with a Mac. But I think after anyone sees this stream, um, they might not look at that video anymore. But, but honestly, like the Mac's been good thus far. It's allowed things to be very portable um, and not take up too much space. The key reason I, I didn't get a PC was because of space. Because I, I don't, I kind of thought I don't really have space for a PC. But now I'm kind of questioning Maybe I make space for the PC. But the only issue with the PC, the other reason I, I did it this way is because I stream both upstairs and downstairs. Um, and so lugging up the PC up and downstairs might hurt the PC at, true too as well. Lag storm ahead? Oh no. That's the worst type of storm. The scariest type of storm. Oh, by the way, I said I was gonna plug in the charger for my iPhone. What's the battery at? Oh, you know, iPhone battery is pretty good when you're streaming, it's still at 25%. I think we were at 30 something, so pretty good. So better laptop, you can also install multiple cameras and switch it via your phone. That's true. Race for impact, rogue wave. Could still use a regular laptop, just not Mac. You can also install multiple cameras. And oh. I'm slipping into the future. 5% down already. Oh, you're right. It is 5% down. Can Irene actually use Windows or is she trapped too deep in the Apple? Can't turn off. Well, okay. I am... I'm a fan of Windows because I use Windows for work. I am a fi I'm in finance, so Excel is super painful on the Mac. Um, I think I got Mac so that I could do like video editing and those kind of Adobe programs. But yes, I'm starting to realize that PC would definitely would have been much better in this case. It would not have run into this issue. Um, but I've learned through this lesson that having backup will allow me to oh and this is cool now so maybe i'm gonna i'm gonna try plugging it in i'm gonna i have backups i have backups now i think that was my mistake i didn't purchase backup stuff before because i didn't realize i need two of everything just in case um but let's see You know what? This dongle doesn't work even when it's cold. It's really fried. It's been like super fried. It is like fried chicken. It's like deep fried chicken. Power you up a little more, little guy. Let's see. Oh, thank you. You found a way to not sink the bubbly corn, bubbly corn, the bubbly corn. Yeah, good, Captain Irene. Captain Irene, at your service. Um, although the Captain Irene is driving a a a ship, maybe that was my issue. I wasn't. I was taking everyone not on a a cruise ship. I was. Taking everyone on, on a ferry across the Atlantic Ocean. But I don't want to call it Mac a ferry. It's just, a, it is a ship. It is a ship. It's just a different type of ship, a modern ship that's not compatible with every single thing in the world. But, and I think actually, like, the issue is not the MacBook, 
I would say part of it is because I have the M1 chip MacBook, which is newer, um, the compatibility is... But it's, it's getting better. I would say this is the first time I've had this issue in half a year of streaming. Not that that's a great record, but I'm gonna have backup. I promise I will have backup. So hopefully it will be better. Lag waves on port side. Really? Oh shoot, I'm so sorry that there is a lot of lag. So I guess I can't stream with my phone is the, is the conclusion. I guess if I want to stream with my phone, I'm going to definitely need to get one of those live you solo. Okay, how does that look? We're almost done with this one. Whoops. Yep, but it works. Seems fine so far. We found men up to eight. <laughs> nice. It's okay. We were making jokes to keep the panic down. Oh, thank you, Prophet of Shadows. Thank you. Maybe with charger connected, it will improve. Oh, you're a genius. Okay, okay. Let's get me the charger. Here's the charger. Don't spill the bucket of water. Don't spill the bucket of water. That would be the last thing we want. Okay, charger has been connected. And so hopefully, yes, it will be more steady ride and less Less um, lag waves. Tis but a scratch. Really? Is it just a scratch? Are we not sinking, Captain? That's great news. Okay, here we go. And we're almost done with this top section. Beautiful! I think that I think I think this is coming out pretty similar to the picture. Pretty similar. 25% charged. Whoops. Preview. Where are you? Do you guys see the picture? I guess you can't see the picture anymore. You're just gonna have to go by memory. <laughs> and trust me that this is similar to the picture when I say this is similar to the picture. Pretty similar to the picture. Okay, <laughs> and now, and now we're moving on to the outline of the bottom leaf. Okay, here we go. Aha! This is looking a lot more festive, like especially the bottom one with the outlines, because it's a little thicker. We kind of see it. Oh, you kind of see it. Okay, here, I can make it larger. And turn up the brightness. You can kind of see it. Nope, I just made it worse. Kind of, kind of, sort of, not really. <gasps> needed by the MacBook. The MacBook needed the paint, the paint, the apron, not me. Paint everywhere. But thankfully, the MacBook did have an apron because it had like a case. I just realized it just got on the case. Thank the Lord. Woo! 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 What a panic. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was almost a panic moment. Um, but we're all good, we're, we're all good now. 
Okay, there we go. There's one leaf. Here's another. Lovely. Okay, and then let me look at the picture real quick one more time. Oh, okay, so this time it's way off. They want it more abstract over here. So they want a giant leaf. That's very offset. Lovely! It's getting more and more abstract as we go. I'm super curious to see what this stream will look like. I'm gonna go check out the VOD to see if it actually worked or not and if the music is playing. Why isn't the music playing? Oh, the music is playing. Woosa, yes, Woosa. Oh, wow, and this even came in too. Salamander, thank you so much for redeeming a personal bubble, bubble wand, hello. I can totally still do that. And now we blow it to the phone. Thank you so much for being here, Salamander, and here are bubbles for you. These bubbles stand for your courage, sir. May you have happy days in front of you and smooth sailing. Yes! The timing, yes! <gasps> really? Thank you, Salamander. This art looks pretty accurate. Oh. Okay, happy little leaves. These leaves are, these leaves at one point thought they would never be able to seek happiness and light, but they are. They're happy little leaves. This is a happy little accident. Happy little, happy gigantic accident. I wouldn't say little. Well, happy, is it happy? I don't know. Well, we're experiencing a different, different, different type of stream here. Beautiful art, thank you, Dragon Lair. <laughs> oh no, the bubble went into your eye. Adam, be careful. B go wash your eyes. Go wash your eyes. Bubbles and eyes don't mix. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Uncle Sean. Appreciate the kind, kind words of support. Much needed at this moment of turbulent times, literally turbulent. There we go, there's another leaf. Ooh, that's a fantastic idea, Suburban. Bubbly and abstract painting, you can do is add paint to bubble wand mix and blow bubbles right at the canvas. That's a great idea. Definitely would not want to do that inside of the house, but I have a patio. Will my landlord kick me out if they hear this stream? Shoot. But that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea. Oh, Zilver, is that how you guys are hearing it? I need to turn up the volume. Okay, that's that's a great point that you guys are hearing. Um, so, I'm going to turn it up all the way, my speaker all the way, so that you guys can hear any, 
any um, notifications that way. At one point, I did set up Streamlabs app on my phone, but all my app setting got erased because I set this up so that all the alerts pop up and everything too. But it went away. It went away. I will reset it up. Getting closer. <laughs> All terror. I can just imagine it now. Dennis, we need a new house. The landlord kicked us out. And then people are gonna ask, how did you get kicked out of your apartment? I was like, oh, I was painting with bubble paint. And then the landlord was not very happy about that. That would be the coolest way to get kicked out of your apartment. I'll take that. Yes. Okay, and this has turned out pretty good. We're actually done <laughs> with this painting almost I think I just need to make the lines a little clearer so I think what I can add something looks very different something looks very very different it, look, it does look very different from the original painting. It's a lot more chaotic than the original painting. The original painting is quite zen and this isn't quite there, but I would say this painting was inspired by the this event that we're going through and that's why things are colliding. It's a reflection of the event that we just went through. Masterpiece, cause it's huge. <laughs> yeah, the leaves are quite huge. Oh, I think it's better. I'm working on some ideas for merchandise for you. Oh, Uncle Sean, thank you. I would love ideas on much. That would be very fun. We should do that as another. Well, let me know once you've come up with some ideas. I will think of them too, and then we can do it on DIY stream together. Wow, this actually turned out not half bad. Where would I hang this? Hmm, where should I hang this? Oh! Good night, Supreme King. Thank you for being here today. Irene, merch needs to be a bubbly corn one onesie. Oh, that would be fun. Oh my gosh, the bubbly corn onesie, which is, is a narwhal onesie, is super comfortable. And it gives you courage to do things that you might not have courage to do outside of the onesie. Like, it gave me courage to do a K-pop dance. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a armor. Soft armor. Wait, did I undrown? What do you know? Did I undrown? Is that possible? Yes, you did undrown. We, we, you were, you, you undrowned and you unfroze. We thawed you. We took you from the bottom of the ocean, and we thawed you, and you are undrowned. You are undead now. Basically, a zombie. But do you have to be a zombie if you came back to life? I'm sure there's other things you could be. What are other things you could be? An angel? Is an angel alive? I'm just trying to make this look as perfect as possible. I'm gonna wiggle wiggle in that one. Let's see. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Da 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 do do do. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Is that wiggle wiggle? That's wiggle wiggle, right? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, 
Justin, you're saying just yes, because Justin was totally like, I am reading the message, but I am dying in gurgle. Yeah, Justin was. Justin is quite the actor. He is a method actor where he gets really into the scene that we're playing, and he was really playing that scene of drowning like to perfection. He was like showing it in his voice. Justin, round of applause to you. No encore because we don't want this to encore uh, and happen again, but he did a great job acting. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Cats have nine lives, yes. A Wendigo, what's a Wendigo? Chad, don't eat the bubble and Gordon and the ideas. They just got married. JK, everyone. What, what, what? What was the ideas? <laughs> Every time I hear Justin now, I think of his Justin, Justin Assassin. The, yes, I, that is true, my pronunciation. Justin Assassin. Hopefully you were not drowning. Hopefully you were not drowning. He was a ham? He was a hamster? Ham? <laughs> pat, pat, Justin, one time is enough. Yes, Justin, don't go get ideas about doing different acting. Like, now I'm gonna act like the house is on fire. Speaking of house on fire, I witnessed a fire today. I called 911 today for the first time in my life, other than when I was a kid once, when I called um, on accident. Because uh, Mama Lee's cell phone number at one time was called 991, and then she was she had to change her number because we were dialing 911 on accident. But in any case, I was driving on the freeway and there was a brush to the side and it was on fire. So I called 911 and the scary thing is I had to call like five times to get through because it just kept doing the line is busy thing. And so that reminded me of how people said, if you know, do not prank call the police, it's very important that was a great reminder to me of that which i don't pray and call the police but just to spread that message because it's really hard sometimes to get through to the police but if you are in a situation it took me maybe like five minutes or six minutes um oh melon head melon head thank you so much for rating and hello everyone who is here from the melon head party we are having a raid party today, certainly. Um, and we are, we are live with a little bit of turbulence. We had a bit of a sink, as you can see from all of my camera equipment turned off a bit. <laughs> but we are still, we're, we're, still, we're still live. We're in a bit of a um, emergency boat situation, a rescue boat situation over here. And we're wrapping up an abstract painting of a leaf, an autumn leaf, an autumn leaf, and we're at 45%, that's pretty good, pretty good. Yes! I'm thinking, do you think it would be good to add a blue leaf over here? to represent the fact that we went through quite a lot during this stream. I'm thinking that might make it abstract. Like where we add a blue dot. Oh, maybe two blue dots, perhaps. I'm gonna wash these paintbrushes. And I'm gonna add our little last abs, a greenish blue, a greenish blue. Okay, yes, says Digga. <laughs> Boomer Rush. Yes, welcome readers. We are survivors of the great battery out of 21. Yes. We will everyone here are survivors right now of the great battery outage. It it was quite it was quite um quite the quite the thriller of the evening. 
Okay, so let's add a bubble, a bluish green hue. Let's see, a battery outage. Yes, it, oh. Yes, the battery outage. The battery outage of Le MacBook. Le MacBook. Uh, our ship, Le MacBook, sank uh, due to a battery outage. And so we are on our. I was talking about the onesie, so I was telling chat to give you any ideas. Just yet, you just got me. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Perfect. Okay, so let's add a little bit of a blue tint now. Two, two here. Instead of drops, maybe do a yin in one corner and a yin. <laughs> really? But then that would take away from the abstractness. Ah! I'll leave it alone or do other leaf in same color. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Wah! Other leaf in same color. Oh, you're saying over here, maybe. Oh, oh, something's going down. Oh, now I feel like everything's going down. Ooh. <laughs> no social distancing whatsoever. I know they're completely grabbing hands right now. There's no social distancing here. Or maybe a dot and then a bubble on top. Mm. To add abstract, make squares to instead of circles. Ah, that's a good point. Maybe I can, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe I can add squares here. Yes, 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 yes. So we can add a rectangle square there and then a square over here. It's becoming quite abstract. Perfect, I'm liking this. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. We're going to add a square here. Oh, it's green. This is green. I did not know it was green. I actually like it. It's it's livening up our photo quite photo and the ain't a photo. Our painting quite a bit. <gasps> oh no! Or a square, a triangle. A A X A circle. A A X A circle. What's that? Well, the lag is happening. The lag, the lag war is not war. The lag wave is coming. Okay. Well, do you guys see the square? That's blending into the canvas. Ooh, it is. No, what did I what did I miss? What did I miss this time? What was that? Never done this one to to the um to the phone before, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I I need to 
she didn't get it. What did I never get? What did I not get? What I mean is if you want to add something else, it should be similar colors to what is already there or it could look strange. Ew. That's what I didn't get. Those are buttons for, oh. No, I get it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course I know the buttons. Except I, I don't know what specifically that combination of buttons do. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's looking strange? I, I think it adds a little bit of pizzazz because it's green and it's adding some fresh feels, fresh vibes to this painting. Okay, and then let me add one over here. Happy little square, exactly. And we're gonna add another happy little square over here. Actually fall. Oh, kind of. It did. It did kind of, but it it came back alive too. Oh no! It looks green to me. It is a little green. Let's see. The color actually says. You're right. It is green. I'm colorblind. This is hunter green. I didn't know it was green. I thought it was blue or teal. I should have thought it was blue, but now that it says green and I read green, the color is starting to change in my eyes. I think I'm colorblind, except I'm brainwashed colorblind, where if I hear the color, then I start seeing a different color. Is that a thing? Is she really partially colorblind? I, I think I am. But I'm, I don't know, am I, it, this is green you guys say, right? But I thought it was blue initially before when I poured the paint. But I mean, I do see the green, but I feel like it has a hint of blue. Maybe that's why it's a hunter green. Okay, and the great thing is I'm gonna tie it in with the other, um, other guys by outlining it in a similar way. So watch this. Watch me, watch me. Bluish green, exactly. <laughs> I was worried that the color being blue was like the golden white dress. Yeah, I chose never to answer that question because It's definitely gold and white, but it could also be blue and green. And I think the actual answer was gold and white. Okay, so to wrap this up and make it tie into the other one, I'm gonna make this, these boxes also have like a similar outline with a contrasting color. So here we go. That was not a great idea. It is blending into the paint. It is blending into the cream color. It looks pure green to me. No, really? Perhaps because Idaho turtle likes green. Cause you, you're a turtle and turtles like green. 
Okay, I just need to add a bunch of paint. So I don't touch the green. There we go. There is part abstract. And then let's add one to here as well. Wow, I like this. We're getting more and more abstract. Just naturally, natural abstract um, strokes coming out of our creativity. I love it. I too like green. Oh, yay, I like green too. Looks pure green. Really? Okay, well, I guess then it's green. I mean, it did say hunter green. The more you guys say that, the more green I am seeing. I'm, I, I think I am very placebo affected color seer. Like if someone tells me Pikachu is orange, I might start seeing orange. But Pikachu is definitely yellow. Pikachu is super yellow. Okay. cream Lulu is actually pink no Lulu is not pink Lulu is white Lulu is the is the purest white okay there we go Okay. That's blending in a little bit, but that's okay. Thin Flappy. Thick, thinks Flappy. Who's Flappy? Woohoo! Wait, I can't trust my memories now of Pokemon colors. Oh no! <laughs> wow, I'm I'm just this is like color inception that's going on. We're all confused now. We're all confuzzled. Okay, and then let's add one other outline over here. One other outline, maybe rectangle that way. But this one will be filled. This will be a square. Yeah, drowning will do that to you. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> the power of perception. Interesting, Suburban. That is a very cool skill that you get to get when you're colorblind. You can actually see camo better. And drowning, yes, drowning can make you colorblind potentially. And ice water, where it shocks your body. Because everyone went down into the icy cold water temporarily until you got into the U-boats. Okay, there we go. That looks more abstract now. This looks, this painting looks very busy. It looks way too busy. It looks super busy. First the sinking ship and now for getting Pokemon colors. Help! Oh man, yeah, this is kind of a scary stream, I'm sorry. 
It, we're not forgetting Pokemon colors. Okay, this is turning out too busy. Whoever said I should not have added more things, you're right. But at the same time, what do you think? Is it, is it, how, how, do you think it's kind of, you know, now more abstract? What would you say? 10 minutes and we sink the boat again. The empty squares are great. <gasps> Yay! Thank you. Yes, I think the empty squares kind of added a touch where it it has a similar similar um, artistic element to the leaves where it has a contrasting outline color. So if you guys think that I sold this to a museum, how much do you think I could sell this painting for? Yes, I do have more canvas. Good night, Max. Thank you for being here. I think it looks great. Thank you, Adam. But it looks interesting. <laughs> Thank you, MZ. You are a great cook. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nuka Cola. Very funny. 300. Oh, wow. 50 cents. 50 cents, that's, that's still pretty good. A dollar, a dollar. I would buy it for whatever you sell it for. Oh wow, Palmerum. With your signature in it, your community would pay a lot. Ha ha ha, oh my goodness. 50K, I don't know who, I don't know who would pay 50K for it, I don't know who. Tree, tree 50, 350, tree 50. Yes, exactly, Love Yokes. Well, I, I, I added a, a different element there just to bring it all together and add a little bit of curiosity to the painting. 50k rupees. Oh, thank you, Jay Blair. I will definitely check out Discord. I think I know. <laughs> Money. 420. <laughs> 420. <laughs> well, 25k bubbly points. Oh, nice, nice. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> well, the thing is, you, you know, when you make art, you have to, you have to um, list the price. You have to call it high. It's just like the banana on the wall that was duct taped and things like that. You know, that's kind of what makes art, making it exclusively impossible to get. <laughs> Boomer Rust says 10,000 won, which is like $10 in Korea. 50k won. Wow, all of you guys are buying it in Korean currency. Okay, I'll take that too. Silken, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I have paint everywhere. Paint here and paint here. Do we get any on our apron? No, thankfully we do not get any on our apron. Our apron is safe. <gasps> Jay Blair, a million? Going once. By the way, while we're talking art, what is your favorite type of aesthetic for home decor and furniture? Oh yes, meowing. I was going to get to get to Love You Expo's quest Discord question, and then, and then, and then this thing happened. My favorite is actually for home decor. Is <laughs> this sounds weird, but basically anthropology. So, I know that's not a style because they change their style a lot, but I like like bohemian, but I also like modern farmhouse, like everything that you listed there, Lavia XL. I like elements of it, but I like it where it doesn't go overboard. So I like simplicity from each style tied together, which I like like Scandinavian things too. But essentially, I think the elements I like are wood like walnut colored wood and a lot of greenery so that kind of goes with like a little bit of bohemian but um other like farmhouse a little bit too and and those kind of things which is why i really struggle with not being able to raise plants because i love greenery i might try i might try greenery again
50k! Oh my goodness! When we rebuild the boat, well, I'll keep this in my diary. <laughs> when we rebuild the boat, we'll keep it. <laughs> yes, I'm working on rebuilding the boat right now. We're hammering away. Uh, and I'm so curious what it charged you. It's at 68%, so we could have switched over by the end, but plants are always good. Raise the ship. Soft Bohemian in the farmhouse. Yes! Thank you for articulating. Exactly. That's what I was going for. Soft Bohemian in farmhouse. 1% more. Yes. Try growing plants again. I know, Frank and Law, I tried it twice. I tried it with the herbs that died, and then Dennis is very doubtful of my ability to grow plants because I've killed succulents. And cacti su slash succulents are supposed to be impossible to kill, apparently, but that happened. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But fake plants are pretty pricey. They're much more expensive than, than real plants. So, I don't know. They're always more <laughs> That's not so sad. That means I'm going to be killing all these plants. How does one kill succulents? Demetrius. Well, let me tell you the art of killing succulents. Um, you just have to occasionally forget to give it water for like two to three weeks and then deprive it of sunlight occasionally by forgetting to open up the blinds. Funny, someone I know has the same plant tendencies. Someone else, funny, someone I know has same plant tendencies. Oh, I wonder who that could be. May that person also have a lovely brown thumb that can eventually be a green thumb. I'm going to paint my thumb green if it is what it takes to make plants survive. Well, that's because the plastic plants have a life expectancy of 10 years. <laughs> Yes, and they're probably very bad for nature, so I feel very bad about that. 496,202 snackos, that painting shall be mine. <laughs> okay, well, sold to Jay Blair. Okay, I, I once killed my cactus, watered it one too many times. Oh, that's true. You can overwater your succulents. That could definitely do it as well. Well, everyone. We have completed our painting today, our abstract painting. I'm going to name it, I'm going to name this painting Titanic because I think it's very appropriate. And I'm glad we put the ocean water in there with the greenish blue. I'm still seeing greenish blue ocean water in there um, because it kind of adds that memory of the Titanic that we had today. So we're gonna name this painting Titanic. Everyone's gonna be really confused as to why this is called Titanic, but you guys will know. You survivors will know why it's called the Titanic. Fantastic title. <laughs> Cause we think along the journey I'm drawing, yes. We made it, yes XMR, we made it till the end of stream. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart my heart will go on my heart for you guys will go on thank you so much for being here through this wild wild sea journey um and for hanging on and for you know joining the lifeboat after that too and staying here i would not have been able to create this piece without you go down with the ship bubbly crew it's Aww. not serving with you farewell admiral i read see you on the next boat Yes. yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, what do you, what do you say? Captain off or, or would good, good evening. Good day. Everyone here sending lots of love and hope to see you guys on Saturday for the cooking stream. By then this will be back on the boat that has risen. The boat has almost risen. We will be on a solid, solid boat. So we won't have to do this again then. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.